Oh boy, what can I sing? Who is it? Um... Who is it is a song by American singer Michael Jackson. It was released by Epic Records on July 13, 1992, as the fifth single from Jackson's eighth studio album, Dangerous, 1991. The song was written and composed by Jackson and produced by Jackson and Bill Bottrell. The song's lyrics pertain to despair over being left by someone you love. He learns that she was unfaithful to him and wants to know with whom she cheated. Some critics noted a comparison to the lyrics of the song to Jackson's single Billie Jean from the album Thriller. As part of the promotion for the song, two music videos were released in 1992. The song was not performed by Jackson on any of his world concert tours. He did, however, perform a small segment of the song in his interview with Oprah Winfrey in early 1993. The lyrics are filled with sadness. I gave my money. I gave my time, I gave her everything inside of one heart could find. I gave my passion, my very soul. I gave her promises and secrets so untold. I gave her everything inside one heart could find. I gave her passion, my very soul. I gave her promises and secrets so untold. The song was written in 1990 in collaboration with the producer Bill Bottrell who had witnessed Michael Jackson's most intimate emotions. No song since Be Not Always had displayed so much palpable suffering. Please, please be not always. Because if always bow our heads in blame. According to his former producer Quincy Jones, the singer, without a doubt, intended this song to be a release in which he would open his soul and his heart, turning to his audience as his confidant. Background and Composition Who Is It was recorded by Michael Jackson. Jackson wrote and composed the track, in the key of D minor. It was released as the fifth single from Dangerous on July 13, 1992. The lyrics of the song tell of a man who was left in despair when his lover suddenly leaves him. He learns that she was unfaithful to him and wants to know with whom she cheated. Genesis Michael's songs, even if on some abstract base, to me were always somehow autobiographical, you know. It always felt that way, knowing him really well and the complexities in and out of his life. I always felt it was autobiographical, even if it was something he was resisting, it would come out in a song. And I think he's very lucky to have that, that ability to be such a good songwriter and a singer too, to get it out. It's cathartic, Quincy Jones said on the reissue of the album Bad in 2001. Originally destined for the best of Project Decade, who is it is one of the gems on Dangerous, in which Michael Jackson sings of unhappiness and love. The song acted as an echo of Billie Jean and Dirty Diana, and the king of pop revealed himself with unprecedented maturity and selflessness. The song's theme is loaded with unusual mystery, with a darkness and resignation that cannot be expressed unless they have been experienced personally. The seventh of the nine short films for the album Dangerous was entrusted to the skilled director David Fincher, after he had finished shooting the movie Alien 3 and before he made the fabulous Seven and Fight Club. A video maker to the stars, he enlisted the services of Jordan Cronenweth, the distinguished director of photography who had worked on, among others, Ridley Scott's movie Blade Runner. Together, they were to create the most photographically striking and mysterious short film in the career of the Michael Jackson. The director did not want to show Michael in his glittering outfits. In the video, his clothing is sober, and only his pants, slightly short and allowing a glimpse of his socks, could be said to be faintly reminiscent of the artist's usual dress code. Neither was there any question of his seducing the camera with his devastatingly effective dance steps or other gimmicks, he was to be manly, a dandy, 
and highly respectable. Critical Reception Several music critics compared Who Is It to Jackson's 1983 single Billie Jean. Chris Lacey from Albumism described the song as a haunting masterpiece that finds Jackson teeming with rage and regret when his lover leaves him unexpectedly. Larry Flick from Billboard called it a stellar jam, adding that minor key synths and rigid rhythms underscore a white-knuckled vocal and a hook reminiscent of Billie Jean. Chris Willman of the Los Angeles Times claimed that it recaptures some of the slinky, insinuating feel of Billie Jean. John Perels, a writer for the New York Times, said the song is an imitation of Billie Jean. Alan Light of Rolling Stone noted that unlike his previous efforts, it is about betrayal. Jonathan Bernstein, a writer for Spin, wrote that Who Is It was close skin to Billie Jean. Commercial Reception Who Is It was commercially successful worldwide, generally peaking within the top 30 positions on national music charts. The song peaked at number 14 on the United States Billboard Hot 100 chart, while peaking at number 6 on Billboard Hot R&B slash Hip Hop songs, as well as topping the Billboard Hot Dance Club play. Internationally, Who Is It reached the top 20 in several countries. The song debuted on the United Kingdom music chart at number 12 on July 25, 1992, and the following week reached its peak position, number 10. It remained within the top 100 positions for seven consecutive weeks from July to September 1992. After Jackson's death in June 2009, his music experienced a surge in popularity. Who Is It re-entered the Switzerland music charts for the first time in over 17 years, hitting number 49 on July 12, 2009. Mm -hmm. I, I, I gave my money, I gave my time, I gave her everything inside of one heart could find. I gave my passion, my very soul, I gave her promises and secrets so untold. Uh...